In this video, I'm gonna to react to how the universe is actually way bigger than we think it is. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. This is the place where I react to music, media, sports, anime, anything related to popular culture, I'll watch it with an open mind and give you my 100% honest reaction to it. And if you could please hit that like button early, I'd really, really appreciate it. Now, this for me is going to be a truly, truly fun video. I could easily watch this video in my spare time just as a bit of fun. I'm really into space, the universe, the galaxy, our solar system, you know, space travel, hopefully one day faster than light travel. You know, the universe is just such a fascinating thing. And obviously we all kind of know that the universe is big, but the actual scale of it, the actual real life, how we can, you know, the actual real life size of the thing, I think is beyond most of us, to be honest. Like, because when you consider the fact that they say, apparently there are more galaxies in the, in the universe than there are grains of sand on Earth. And within those galaxies, there are countless, countless planets. It's just, you know, hearing that sentence, you obviously, you know, it, it kind of does resonate with you how big it is, but try and imagine counting how many grains of sand there are. There's, there's trillions and trillions and trillions. It's just, the universe is truly, truly huge. So this video is really gonna crystallize for me, you know, just how big, how many stars are there? Because when you really get an understanding of how big the universe is, surely the answer to the are we alone question almost becomes redundant because it's like, do we really think that this planet is the only one in the countless trillions and trillions of planets that just happen to you know, be able to sustain life? For me, it's just inconceivable that we can be the only life. I mean, the only planet with life, seeing as that there's so many planets out there. So let's go. This is gonna be me reacting to how the universe is so much bigger than we think it is. Let's do it. This is a real life lore video made possible by Squarespace. Make your next move with a beautiful website from Squarespace. This is Earth. You mm. live here on this planet somewhere and everything that you've ever known is located right here crazy literally everything we've ever known likely will know all on this one little planet but just how small exactly is earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic neighbor the moon mm. you may think that the moon is very close to earth since it dominates our night skies but in reality the moon isn't this close to our planet it's actually about this far away wow. 384,400 kilometers away from you right now crazy considering i believe the the the, circum the circumference of the earth i believe is only like 7000 miles something like that so this is literally just so many more times that and this is our closest celestial neighbor Oh, on average, you could fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance. Yeah. If you somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days to wow. drive the entire distance. Almost half a Despite year. Despite this incredible distance, however, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest away that any individual human has ever been away from the Earth. Incredible. And one of humanity's greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with them. And if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and wow. them since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. Crazy. This is a photo that was taken on Mars, and that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Mars. Wow. So this is Earth. Crazy. Hopefully we can... Uh set put people on there someday soon come on elon you can do it surface 
On average, Mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth, but that distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. In addition, Crazy. the time delay for sending a message from Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds, it's minutes, actually right? more like 20 minutes each direction. Mm. Which which would render instant communication in the event of an emergency impossible. So you're literally on your own pretty much. Pretty much. Wow. When we zoom out even further away, we can find the Voyager 1 space. Yeah, Voyager 1. That's the furthest, I believe, furthest man-made object ever made. I think it's like, last time I checked NASA's website, I think it was like 25 billion miles away. It's currently in the... Uh, Oort cloud in interstellar space, I think. Space probe, which is the furthest away man-made object from Earth. Yeah. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth. AU meaning astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which means that Voyager 1 is 138 times further away from us than the Sun is. Crazy. At some point on its long voyage, Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. Wow. It may not look like much at first, but in my opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. Mm -hmm. This tiny, pale blue dot is Earth. That was Carl Sagan who said that, right? Yeah. Rest in peace, Carl Sagan. And I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it. Everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. The aggregate of all Crazy. our joys and sufferings. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and every forager. Every hero and coward. Every creator and destroyer of civilizations. Every king and every peasant. Mm. Every young couple in love. Every hopeful child. Every mother and every father every inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there. Crazy. This tiny little dot and in the vastness of space. A moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Once we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is wow. the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from- Gosh, man, it just, oh, it really puts into perspective just how far we are from, from, from things, you know? That's the closest star to us, and it's that far away from us. To put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other words, if you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over six times longer than the entire age of the universe is just to finally get there, and it wouldn't even exist still when you arrived. Wow. When we zoom out even further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy, inside of which Earth is located right here. This yellow dot is the furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history. Which wow, I didn't even, I didn't know that. Which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. It's wow. complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. There are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. I didn't... A uh, hundred billion stars, a hundred billion galaxies, and that's just one galaxy, guys. Wow. 
galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right here. But even this massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further and we arrive at the local group of galaxies, a collection of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. But zooming out even further and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which the local group here is just a tiny segment. There's gotta be life out there guys. There just has to be. There has to be. We cannot be. It's it's almost laughable to think we are the only one planet, the only one in the whole universe. Dove. There are at least 100 other groups of galaxies just like our own local group inside of here, and the distance from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. But even the massive Virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. Good God. The distance from one side to the other is 520 million light years, but from even there we can zoom out all the way to the entire observable universe and see that even the titanic Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything. This is the observable universe and it contains everything that we know of. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, which together contain more stars than there are grains of sand on the entire Earth. The distance from Earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years, which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across. Good grief. What's perhaps even more interesting, however, is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever imagine. Man, just honestly watching this, obviously it fills me with wonder, but it also fills me with sadness because it's just like, you know, <laughs> I'll, we'll never, well, I'll probably never ever, you know, see what's out in the universe you know there could be countless civilizations out there you know with fantastic technology fantastic cultures that i'll never know of we'll never know of anybody who's watching this right now will probably never know Un unless you know they they come to the earth one day within my lifetime hopefully uh yeah unless within the next 10 20 years we we can somehow figure out antimatter and use that for propulsion because i believe i heard somewhere that antimatter could possibly get us to reach uh the speed of light or near the speed of light in terms of propulsion which would be incredible but even then would the human body be able to sustain travel at that speed <laughs> who knows we simply don't know what else is out there because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on earth and the light from some places may never reach us at all because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, uh, that means that the light from these places will never, in an infinite amount of time, reach Earth. Us. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. Crazy. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. Wow. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light, then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable universe. That number for reference looks like this, with this many zeros. 
Let this number sink in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing the that sun. in reality, the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. <laughs> Imagine a light bulb in the center of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it. And that's a similar situation to this. My mind is just being blown to smithereens right now. We are all so unbelievably small, but you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. Mm. This video was made possible by Squarespace. <laughs> that was absolutely phenomenal. I really, really, really enjoyed that. That's right up my street in terms of things I'm interested in. It's just amazing to think that you know, to realize that this planet, this, this you know, pale blue dot as uh, the late Carl Sagan uh, referred to it as, is just in the, in, the, in the grand scheme of things, so tiny, so small. <sighs> it just blows my mind. It, it really, really does. It's just, you have to just want, wonder like, what's out there, you know? What is out there? They're, they're just, the thought of there being, you know, in a, in a galaxy far away from us, you know, just planets just full of life, full of intelligent life, perhaps, wondering, are they alone? You know, think to yourself, imagine, imagine, right, in there's like a hundred planets similar to ours with, with humanoid creatures all thinking to themselves and wondering, are we alone? And putting the same amount of effort in terms of satellites and things like that, you know, radio signals, trying to f answer that question. Just blows my mind, honestly. Hopefully we can answer that question in our lifetime, in my lifetime anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, and keep throwing the recommendations my way. I know I say it all the time, but they genuinely help me out because if I know you enjoyed watching something, I'll definitely enjoy reacting to it. So like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, keep throwing the recommendations, and I'll catch you in the next one.